ये आप ओके ये आप सो फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ दिस वे प्रैक्टिस टुनाइट टुलू इज ए मोर लाइक ए फ्रीलांसर और समवन दैट डज ए वन मैन बिजनेस ऑल राइट so let's say to look offers a particular service okay to look can be a photographer to look could be a web designer to look could be a graphics designer to look could be um a software developer to look can be let's say a barber to look can even be uh, a hairdresser or someone that offers massage services okay so i i, I want us to suggest what website should we design for tolu tonight um what website what business should we give tolu tonight that we are going to design a website for i want to make it open all right and then we go ahead to design that particular website so can we suggest in the uh, comment section the first two or three suggestion what business are we designing what business is tolu doing all right that we want to design a website for just give tolu a business okay so someone said photography online fashion store so we can work with that when we get to um the what is it called when we get to um this top part of it that's e-commerce site so we'll work with that now all right then someone also said education so please remind us when it's time for the multi page site we will work with uh education website say a school for example uh, probably we we'll just design a website for a nursery primary and secondary school put together all right so that same day we we'll develop content and then we we'll design a website for um a school all right <clears throat> so uh but for tonight we assume that tolu is a photographer so we design a website for tolu um which is for his photography business okay so um designing a website for tolu uh remember the last time i told us that uh because i'm doing a sharp sharp web design for tonight so um i will use the help of chatgpt remember the last time i told us to open account on um chatgpt all right so um i go ahead to open this all right then i give instructions okay tolu is a for two grapher um let's say the name of of his business is uh tolu tolu photography right um I I want to design a website for him. I need content. No, I need you to create content. compelling content with for all the pages of his business websites that will help the web 
Oops, I there's a little the wrong camp. All right. So I hope you can all see what I'm doing. How you can all see what I'm doing. I will appreciate if you can respond right. Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. So um Chargibita just helped me to create uh content for my website that I just want to design. Okay. Now let me just give us a sneak peek into this. Um, somebody called me sometime last year, right? And then the person said, I want to, I want you to help me design a website, all right? And then the um, person said that it doesn't have any content. So for you to design any website, you need content, right? Content like, uh, what I ask for, I ask for the client to give me a copy of their company brochure, all right? In soft copy, not hard copy. You want something you can just copy the content, not, don't, don't collect hard copy from anyone. That would mean that you need to now start going back to type, right? Except for um, applications now that can help us to copy, um, write-ups from images, all right? But those days when we can't copy such, we have to go back and start typing whatever ad copy content they are giving us, all right? So ensure you get con content in soft copies, all right? Um, so the person said he doesn't have any content. So I told him that, okay, I will charge you so, so amount. And uh, you can just, imagine all right what the amount was by charged him to generate content for him all right so he needed content so he used the content for both his company brochure and then for his website that we we're designing all right so guess how i generated the content i told him i'll get back to him in 48 hours guess how i generated the content chargibility assisted me so I only typed in the command prompt and then ChatGPT gave me everything I needed. Though there are some times that whenever ChatGPT gives you results, you have to get back and then adjust it, adjust it and edit some things. But the framework of it or ChatGPT assisted, all right? And then that, that was it, okay? The next day I sent the a brochure to the man he was so happy, all right? And then he first paid me for that. Then we now started discussing about the web design uh, and he also paid me for the web design service also, okay? So this will help you a lot. Ensure you have an account on OpenAI if you don't have before now, all right? So this is our contents that we'll be using. So for the home page, it's telling us that, okay, we should have, uh, welcome to to look photography, capturing moments, creating memories. Remember the other day I told us that you should give me tagline for that business website that I was working on, right? So, ChatGPT are just giving me um, capturing moments, creating memories. Okay, so um, should we go ahead to use this, or we should tell ChatGPT to create another one? So, see a summary of to look photography. Tulu photography is your premier destination for exquisite photography that mortalizes your most cherished moments. Our expert team of photographers blends creativity with technical expertise to deliver stunning visuals that tell your unique story, all right? So services offered, um, I offer portrait photography, I do event photography, wedding photography, commercial photography, then photo editing services. So why choose Tulu photography? See, okay, gallery Snapchat. So this section here, I'm going to put different pictures of, different pictures of uh, photos that I snapped in the past and I edited. Then it's now telling me that 
for the about page, this is what will be there, okay? Um, and then a little about me, meet Tolu, founder and lead photographer. Tolu is a skilled artist, is a keen high for detail. His commitment to excellence and a deep understanding of his craft sets Tolu photography apart, all right? So approach services and the like. So a little about all those that are there above. Uh, we have capture your essence, so portrait photography and like. So then portfolio, this is where you'll be able to see what to have done in the past, then contact session, okay? So that's that for different pages, okay? So someone is saying that we should use this. All right, so we'll go ahead to use this. Then because this is a one-pager site, I will not have a block section, okay? I will not have a block section. So I'll just go ahead to use all this content that I have here. All right, so I'll go back to my website. Excuse me. Give me a minute, please. I want to take water. All right, so um, this is our website, okay? Um, remember I told us the other day, this was what was installed. Uh, if I go to the front end of the site, this is what I see, okay? I just see this Tolu, and because this is the title of my site, then see what is showing here at the top here, it's showing Tolu, and the tag is what my WordPress blog. So I need to change this to Tolu Photography, creating moments and what, um, sorry, creating moments, okay, capturing moments, creating memories, okay? So I need to change the tagline to that. So I'll go back here. So let me go to the dashboard, okay? So please just follow me and I'll be saying those things that I am doing as I'll be doing them. So you go to settings, general under settings. All right, come here. So what am I putting here? What's the name of my business? To look photography, right? What's my tagline? Capturing moments, creating memories. Okay, that's my website. And, um, and then I go ahead to save changes. All right. So I go back to the dashboard, okay? So let me go to pages. This is what I see. Um, so I need to create, the first thing you do is, um, now that we are starting with our design, I need to look for a theme that goes in line with my business, all right? So now, the credible sources to getting themes for websites. I will mention um, two of them, all right? The most credible sources to getting theme for your website, all right? Number one, themeforest.net. I hope you can see my, what I just typed out now, okay? So let me just copy it and paste in the chat section. Okay, someone said I should drop the command I use for ChatGPT. I'll drop it now. Um, Teamforest.net. The second uh, one is, and I'll tell us the difference. Yep. That's elements.evanto.com. I want to go and copy the command prompt I used on ChatGPT. Um, so there's it. Uh, okay, so I just um, 
pasted the command prompt I use on ChatGPT now. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's that. So for the first one, teamforest.net, uh, what you just need to do is come here and search for um, auto photography in WordPress. And then you have a ton of them. All right. Now, um, what will Teams help you to do? Teams will help you to uh, make your work very easy. All right. Teams will give you um, a pre designed uh, WordPress, all right, WordPress site that you only need to do. Uh, just few customizations, all right? So a lot of the work have been done for you already. And then you can see on this site here, the amounts that you get the theme for. So each of the themes varies uh, according to their prices, right? So there are some themes that you get for 79, like this is 39, this is 59, but ensure that uh, it is under the WordPress category, okay? So 59, 39, 79, 85, 79, 49. So when charging your client, ensure that um, you have also included this fee, all right? So not that you tell the client that I'll buy theme, so, so amounts, I'll buy plugins, so, so amounts. No, you just charge everything together. You are the one that knows what you are buying at the back end, all right? But ensure you charge everything together, okay? Now, uh, let me mention this. There are some web, there are some sources online that you can get these themes and plugins for free. Okay. Uh, whenever you buy themes and plugins from this site, okay, that I'm showing you, you get license to use them. So if anything goes wrong, you can always get back to them and then they will work on it for you because you have the right to use it. You don't have any issue with plagiarism or, or, or any sort, okay? Um, so please, let's keep our questions till the end of the session and then we'll take our questions, all right? So someone is saying, are things a lifetime payment or yearly? They are usually lifetime. Once you get it, you get it for life. And then depending on the category you are paying for, most times they are usually for just a particular domain name. All right. So, um, for example, let me open this. Okay. So when I open this, I see that this is $59, right? I can preview it to see how it looks like before you go ahead to buy it. Okay. So it means that this is how your website will look like. Okay, so so studio. Oh no no, preview template. Okay, so these are the uh, templates that are available. So let me check this and see how it looks like. Okay, so this is what you see. Okay, so if this is beautiful enough for you you can go ahead to buy, okay? This is all about the page, but you can navigate, okay? Then go to galleries, and you're able to see more, okay? Right, so this is how the site looks like. So, so if it is okay for you, about, So this is the about page, all right? So if you think you like this, what you then what you then have to do is go ahead, add it to cart, create an account with Team Forest, add it to cart, make payment, and then you have access to download. So for example, you go to your downloads, okay? And then you see a series of things and whatever it is that um, you are working with, okay? Yep, so that's, 
darts. That's that with that. Uh, that's team forest number one. Number two is Evanto Elements. Same owners of both. But the difference is that, you see, when it comes to this particular site, you have access to thousands of um, you have access to thousands of photography uh, photographs that you can use with license. You have access to music background. You have access to sound effects, graphics, presentations, photos, um, WordPress, web template extensions, and the likes. Even plugins, themes, and template kits. You have access to all these to use. Okay, and you just pay one time subscription fee, maybe monthly or annual subscription fee, right? So that's the difference between both. So instead of buying every one that you need every time you need it, you can just subscribe for a month and then you have access to everything that is on the platform, okay? So um, I, I am subscribed to this. I subscribe to this particular platform, okay, personally. Uh, and then the only time I go and buy theme and template or plugin from Team Forest is when what I am looking for is not on Evanto Elements, all right? That is the only time I go ahead to uh, get it from there, all right? So for tonight, because I'm subscribed, I have access to license here on anything I download, okay? So I'll search for my, um, what was it called? I'll search for, um, photography, then I'll look for, um, I'll look for a theme that I like or that is beautiful, okay? That looks very nice. All right, um, so as I told us in the previous class, we, we are making use of Elementor, okay? So we search for themes that are compatible with Elementor, all right? um photography so this is most times this takes a lot of time because you want to look for something that is attractive uh at times we do this right you send two or three of these templates to your clients and you want them to choose which of the uh, outlooks they will prefer okay you want them to choose which of them they will prefer, all right? Or what you do at times is you tell your clients, you ask your clients, do they have one or two websites that they like and then they will want their home to look like, okay, that they want you to make reference to while designing their websites, all right? So you can also um, do that. All right, so let me look at some of this and then um, go ahead to check them out, right? So let me check this. Um, I'll check this. Let me also check this. So we are looking for uh, an interface that is that looks very attractive, okay? Um, so um, I hit on live review. So we choose together how we want the website to look like.
So let's see the first trade that I open. This is the first demo. The website will look like the photographies I remember. So when they land, this is what they see first. And then I can navigate um, photo shoots. Okay, there are different home pages. Um, contact. about so let's talk do you like this or we should look for something else uh let me see this This is another concept here. Right. And then we're able to see this. These are the um pretty sure. right um okay so this is the first thing that i'm checking this is another one And then this other one. Okay. I'm not feeling this. Uh, I'm not feeling this. Okay. Okay, so so that we don't waste much time on this, I'll just use one of them. Let me use the first one that I checked before. I think uh, it has a lot of, um, it has about 10 or, yeah, yeah. So it has about 15 different demos, right? So 11 previous home pages. So we can just use, one of them and work with that. All right. So no. What's the name? Photo tag. Okay. So I'll just go ahead to um download it. Um so you ask me to name it for license, then I'll say to look photography. Okay. Yeah, create this and add to download. Okay, start downloading.
Okay, I'm trying to, let me show us this. This is what I see when I download it. Okay, I want to show us, okay. So I've just downloaded it and this is what I see, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is that I will extract it here. Okay, extract it here. Yep. Okay, so this is it. And when I open it, this is everything that is inside, all right? So when you check, this is uploads. This is the main theme itself. Okay. This is the main theme itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that, you no. Know, okay, so it's already zipped. This is the main theme itself all right so um i'll go back to my wordpress site and then i will install the theme all right let me share the other one yep okay so i'll go back to my wordpress site let me close all this um Here. So for the theme, add new theme, right? Upload new theme, then I'll choose file. Um, I'll go to download um, impressed. Yes. And here we go. So you upload, remember what, please read what is saying here. It's saying that if you have a theme in a zip, dot zip format, you may install or update it by uploading it here. And as you can see here, this is dot zip format, all right? So I install, and then you can see this is loading. Below here, you will see um, the number of percentage that. So you wait for some minutes till your theme is fully uploaded, all right. So it's installing it and then here we go. Now, before you go ahead to activate the theme, I advise you always preview first. Ensure it shows. If it doesn't show and it just gives you a white or blank screen, please don't, um, don't activate that theme, delete it. It means that the theme is broken, all right? So now we can see that it has shown us something, right? Then I can close it, come back here, and then go ahead to activate my theme, okay? After activating it, it's telling me that I will need all these plugins for the theme to work very well, okay? So, this theme requires the following plugins, as you can see, all right. Then it's saying that this theme recommends the following plugins also, okay? Yeah, so what do we do? Begin installing plugins. So how do you install everything? Just select all, okay? Instead of selecting everything one after the other, you come here and then you select everything. Bulk action, what do you want to do? You want to install, then click on apply. So you say that something went wrong with plugin API, all right? So I'll go back to install plugin. I'll refresh this. So none of them have been installed. So I'll do it one after the other. 
it means that it is one of the plugins that is having, that is giving that error. Because it's giving that error, I go ahead to um, install them one after the other. To install, okay. To install. So that is the plugin. Is this particular plugin that is giving the issue? Okay. So, oh no. Is this particular plugin? I think this is the uh, yeah. So that is the particular plugin that is giving that issue. So, let me select other ones. Okay and then install. Okay, then, so I will ignore this particular plugin that is still pending installation is giving an error, right? So I will ignore it. And you ask me why I will, why I will ignore it. Really, I don't need, I won't be using MailChimp for this account. Now, I'm sure that at one point or the other, we'll have, we'll have heard about email marketing, those that send bulk emails to customers for marketing purposes, all right? So, the plugin that we use for that is MailChimp, all right? It's a particular uh, service, bulk email service provider. You can go on Google, search for MailChimp, you can create an account and then start sending bulk emails to your clients, all right? So for this particular purpose, I don't need it. So I'll just ignore it, all right? So let me go to activate. Let me go ahead to activate all the other plugins that I'd installed. Okay, I wait for it to, okay, so all, you can see the notice here, the followings were activated successfully. All right, so I get back to uh, my theme. Okay, then uh, most, so I want to skip this. Dismiss this notice. So most, uh, most themes, after installing them, they have a feature called demo content install, all right? So it will install exactly what you saw before you bought the theme, okay? It, is, it will install exactly what you saw before you bought the theme, okay? So which one should we install? We just go ahead to install the first one, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Spring error, all right. So let's just go ahead. Install, yeah, the link is wrong.
So this. I'm coming, give me a minute. Let me check this directory and then see what's up with it. Now, yeah. So I remember the last time, right? We were talking about um, file manager. This is when it, it comes handy. But if this theme keeps giving me issue, what I'll do is that I'll just get another theme. All right. And then I'll go ahead with my project for tonight. Is installing, yeah, then and it gives me an error. Cannot reopen file. We can check first if anything will happen so far. Okay. Yes, so it's possible. Someone is asking a question that uh, could this team malfunction be as a result of a faulty plugin? So it can be as one of the core plugins that the uh, creators of the team used. All right, so it's very much possible. So I'm just looking for another theme or template to use so that we go ahead and then we don't waste all our time on that. But why are you looking for themes or templates to use? Please, this is where I take a lot of time. I want to look for something that is uh, visually appealing, something that is nice, all right, uh, before you go ahead to do all the remaining work. It takes time, though, but when you take your time to look for something appealing, right, 
your the other things you'll be doing will get easier for you. So what's up? Is this nice? Can we go ahead to use this? Is this nice? Can we go ahead to use this? Yes, it's okay. All right. So I'll work with this. Personally, I would rather I'll go with either this or this. Okay. Um, so let me close other ones and then I go ahead to work with this. All right, um, so let me download it. So let me show us what I have before I go ahead to extract it. Um, sorry, please. Okay, so this was the one I downloaded the other time. So this is the one I just downloaded now. Uh, mind you, this is a template, not a theme. Okay, I will show you the difference now. This is a template, not a theme. So it is, it is an elemental template, not a theme but they serve similar purposes, all right? So let me, before I extract, let me check what's inside first, okay? So let me extract it, extract here, okay? So, um, Yep. So this is it, and then this, <clears throat> these are the templates. All right. So I'll come back here because I'm working with templates now. This is what I'm going to do. I'll get back to my site. Um, okay. It's good we encounter something like this so that we can wipe off everything that is presently on this side. So uh, now I want to do this. I will install a particular plugin. Okay, add new plugin. The name of the plugin that I want to add now is called WP Reset. See what it's showing me. So it will wipe off everything that I previously done on the site and make it very as fresh as it was before I started, all right? So we go to tools, um, advanced WP reset. Yeah, I see if your screen is uh, oh. frozen. I can only see the place where you have templates. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you for calling my attention to that. Okay, can you see this now? Let me go back. 
what I did was I I had this plugin from so I came here, add new plugin, and then I search for WP reset. And then uh, it showed me this. Then I came here, I installed and activated. All right. So after doing that, you'll be able to see it on your list of plugins here. Okay. Now you don't need to upgrade to the pro version. So come to tools and then advanced WP reset. Click on it. It shows you this. Okay. So type reset in the input field below to go ahead. So what will it do? Say so after the reset, the following will remain untouched. The current admin user, files upload themes, child plugins and likes, basic settings, site address and likes. But all this will go away. Pages, custom tables, users, posts and likes. Everything um, will go away. So um reset reset now before proceeding all right so let me go to plugins um deactivate Okay, I will go ahead to delete it. Then come back to tools, advanced WP reset, and then reset. Set now. So it is done. So this is exactly how it was. Remember how it was before when we started all right so let me go to plugins now and then um deactivate this i don't need it again okay um then delete everything Okay, then go to appearance themes. Now that we are using an elemental template, all right, go to add new and then add, use this particular theme now. Install a low elemental. So this is the theme we'll use now, all right, then activate. After activating, we want to go and delete all other templates that all other themes that we have installed now for this theme that we just activated you require this particular plugin elemental plugin then activate plugin all right, skip this. So you see where we are now, templates. You come to add new templates. So this is where we had the templates that I have just um, This is where we had the templates that um, I I downloaded the other time, right? So um, go to download and press templates. Uh, try to add them one after the other. So,
is still important. I think my internet is slow. Let me refresh the page and then start again. Okay, so um, this is 10.08, right? We'll continue this class tomorrow. So please, I want to employ us that instead of having the second uh, leg of this particular class on Friday, uh, let's have the class tomorrow by nine, uh, by nine, same time tomorrow, all right? Um, something came up, I had an assignment that was sent to me from church and I have to be in a meeting on uh, Friday evening. So uh, please let's meet tomorrow evening. So the part two of this class we hold tomorrow, all right? My internet is, this thing is becoming very slow, all right? So, uh, but we'll get through with it on Friday. We'll continue from here on Friday, all right? Uh, so, sorry, we'll continue with this tomorrow by nine, nine to 10, same time tomorrow. All right, then tomorrow uh, around 11, for those of us that are available, all right, uh, 10, 11 tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., I'll be working on a site project, all right, and then I'll be sharing uh, a link with us. Just I'll make it open for us, for those of us who will be interested to see, uh, to, look, to see our work on it from start to finish, all right. So I'll be working on it tomorrow. Uh, if you're free, 
around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's not a compulsory class, all right? Tomorrow's, tomorrow evening's class is compulsory. That's a continuation of this one. But that one is just optional. If you are free, I want to see I'm working on it from start to finish, you can join. It's a multi-page site, all right? That will just help you to see, uh, to just put your head of uh, the curriculum, all right? So that, that will be all for tonight. Let's call it a night and then we continue tomorrow, right? Someone is saying, please, let's have a video of tonight class. Yes, yes, I will, um, I will convert it and then upload on YouTube and share with us on, and share the link with us on the platform, okay? So thank you very much for tonight. Do enjoy your night rest. We'll continue on the second part of this class tomorrow. Regards. Please, if you have any question, um, okay, before before I go, do we, do we have any question? Any question? Let's just take any question we have based on what we've seen so far. We couldn't go ahead because the internet is slow and it's not important, but okay. Damlala, go ahead to ask your question. Can you unmute and ask the question? Come again, please. Come again, please. I. I am. Okay. 